Hi everybody, my name is Chris and here we talk about everything as long as it's in 118 scale. This week I'm building my second commission work. Yeah, it's gonna be exciting. Welcome to my life in 118 scale. It started a couple of weeks ago when someone reached out to me through a Facebook diecast group and asked me, hey, are you the guy from Life in 118 scale? I love your work and I'd be interested in buying a custom diorama from you. So we talked on the phone and I showed him a couple of plans and sketches and that was it. We came to an agreement quickly and I started cutting wood the same day. This new diorama will be 30 inches wide and 18 inches deep. It will consist of two rooms, one will be the garage section and the other room will be a showroom. This entire diorama will be showcasing four cars, two lifts, a giant tool chest and cabinets. As usual, I use 3 eighths of an inch thick birch plywood and some 1 by 2s for framing the base. Everything is then glued and nailed so it's going to be solid. There you have it, a nice rectangular base. I will have to sand it a lot before painting, but it'll look good and it will be straight. Next step is to cut the walls. They will be nine inches tall, which translate to 13 and a half feet tall in 118 scale. For the showroom section, it will be all around windows, so I have to cut a groove into the columns in order for the plexiglass to slide into. I also need to cut a groove into the base so the plexiglass can rest in place. This is going to be the corner column. All the major pieces of wood have been cut. The base is assembled. On this side here, it'll be windows all around. This is the showroom portion. And on this portion of the wall here, it's gonna be a window and a door to go from the garage portion to the showroom portion. So this is going to be the garage, the workshop. There's going to be two lifts in here, basically a lot of work left to be done. Next step is to cut out the windows on the back wall. It was not part of the original design, but was suggested by my client to have more light in the garage. And I agree, these windows are going to light up the place.
This diorama will be lit by indirect lighting on the walls, so I have to build some sort of diffuser to achieve that. I chose this one and a quarter inch wide popsicle stick that I will reduce to one inches wide. All the lead strips will be installed on the back of it later. Here's a photo of what it will look like roughly. Nothing is glued yet. My client requested that the walls would be painted a light shade of grey and the floor will be painted high gloss white. So for this I chose sterling grey for the walls and my special blend white epoxy paint for the floor. After about a week of drying, the floor turns out absolutely fantastic. It's hard rock solid, it'll last forever. So this is how it looks so far. Obviously nothing is glued yet. I could probably start assembling the basic structure now while I figure out how to wire the electricity in. These are going to be the next steps, which I'll show you in the next episode. Thank you for watching.